Hello everyone, this video is going to focus on multi-level indexes or multi-level columns. Um, there is definitely more to uh, these concepts that these videos are really presenting here. Uh, we're just going to be sort of introduced to them and see in our um, you know, simple data analytics when we sometimes do um, group by and um, you know melting or pivoting a lot of times without us paying attention to we are creating data frames that are have multi-level columns or multi-level indexes uh, so like I said we're not going to be uh, you know really learn about how to create them if we want to have a data frame that have multi-level columns and index but we're just sort of going to uh, know where they are and how they look like and for the purpose of uh, you know this module we are going to be using these uh, different levels of um, different uh, levels of indexes or columns to uh, be able to change uh, the bar chart so we have we can make different bar charts by playing with these multi columns uh, and multi indexes so let's look at them and see how they are and down the line in the next videos, you're going to be seeing um, how we use that to create different bar charts. So let's get started. So yeah, multi-index, multi-level index and columns. Um, one of the things that we finished in the last video, we did a group by of the Wickham data on Smoker and then did a value counts. And we have this sort of summarizing uh, table that sort of tells us what's happening with the two binary attributes and the number of columns, number of rows are in the data. So if we take a closer look, if we look at this uh, data frame index, we see that it's a multi-level index. So we have, you have two levels. Uh, one level is for smoker, yes or no, and then you have a live. And basically after you have your levels, now you also have um, where are um, in all of your rows of data, where are the yeses and where are the no's. So you can see in the beginning, this is no, no, zero, zero, one, one. And then you can see alive and dead is zero, one, zero, one. Alive, dead, alive, dead. So this is the index. The index is a little bit, you know, more complicated than just zero, one, two, three, four. It's multi-level index. and it's very useful as far as programming um, that you know we can create these uh, programs that we can like now uh, pivot melt and also here we can also on a stack to sort of like change from multi-level index to multi-level columns that which you will see so for us to be able to access a multi-level index we have to uh we have to before we only had to say lock and then we would say okay uh, give me this index because you know it was a single level index but here now you have to pass both of the levels for your index to be able to access let's say to no alive to 500 502 and that's uh, how you do it um, so if you unstack in a data frame that has multi-level index basically it's going to push the outer level to the columns. Um, so uh, that's how it's gonna ha what's gonna happen. So before the outer level, which was income, was a second level of index, alive or dead. Now it's pushed to become a column. Now alive and dead are columns, and now it's a, you know sort of like a normal table looking that we can see. And now if I uh, do the buy smoker index now it's like a normal index yes or no but if I if I um, stack it it's going to revert back to how it was and also here you can see that I have a count and then I have alive or dead so what's happening here now I have a multi level column so if I call my unstack columns now i can see there are two levels there is one level count and then there is a second level alignment 
So the uh, first level is sort of like redundant here uh, as far as you know visual, but you know, as far as programming, it was a level before. So once you do unstack, it will push the outer level of um, uh, the uh, index push to the outer level of the column. So that's basically what unstack does. And um, now I can sort of get rid of that level by just uh, saying I want to look at the first level of columns. So once I do this, now it's like a normal looking table that uh, has only one level column. You can see that here. Columns. It's just one level columns. For me to be able to access different um, columns here, I have to go through count and then alive or the other way around so we can we can do it this way or i can do it this way or i can do it um this way both are going to uh, work out basically Why to smoke a unstack? 